All right, mind, body, beautiful ladies. Um, hope you are having a great day. It's five o'clock and it is time for our Facebook Live. And I just want to say thank you for um, attending. I know last week I uh, ended up not feeling very well and am finally feeling better. So glad to be here with you with you guys today. And um, one thing that um, I want to talk about is the many hats that we as women wear, right? The roles and responsibilities, I call them the hats. And how do we manage that? Um, it can be difficult to manage those kinds of things just because, you know, it's the holiday season, right? There's a lot of stress um, during the holidays at times because it's mainly stress that we put on ourselves. I know that's for me. I do have, um, you know, it's, it's just the things that I do um, to myself, right? It's not like anybody else is putting stress on me. So it's just one of those things. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about those many hats. What are some things that you can do to um, kind of alleviate that pressure um, that you may be experiencing with wearing all those hats that you do um, during the day, each and every day, right? Sometimes more than um, what we really want to have going on. And so, I mean, we live in this world where we're hustling from one commitment to the next, and we have to keep all the plates spinning, and we got to change our hats um, and it can be a really a, a, a very challenging time, right? It's like a constant challenge. And we kind of look, we look at this actually, we should look at this uh, from a view of that, and you've heard of this, work-life balance. And really they're, they're two separate and distinct compartments, right? So there's work, and then there's your life. And then how do you manage all that? So I would love to see um, some comments that you guys are here with me this evening and um, would love to um, get some engagement from you and just tell me that you're here. I'd love to know that you're here. I see that we have about five people watching. Would like to for you guys to say hi. Don't be shy, you can say hi. Um, I won't make you talk, I promise. Um, so anyway, um, so sometimes those tasks that are competing for your time can be very, very overwhelming, especially if you're someone like me that makes all these endless to-do lists, right? And so uh, I think there's an easier way to look at life and making um, and, and all those juggling acts that we do or the flipping of the hats. Um, ma let's make that a little bit easier for us. And so um, if we try and forget looking at everything as equally demanding, um, that might be help, right? Because if might be helpful. So if we you know, um, have to clean the, the bathrooms and we have to wash the kitchen floor and we have to cook the food and we have to do all those kinds of things. Um, it can be very demanding of our time and it's really hard to prioritize what should be first and what should be second and what should be third. And um, like for me, I sometimes am, you know, the whole multitasking is something that, you know, that's a whole nother topic we could talk about, but I find myself getting into that rut of multitasking and then I don't finish anything, right? So you start cleaning, um, you start cleaning one room and then you're like, oh, I should run up and do this in the bathroom or whatever. And then before long, you have to go back down and finish what you started. So um, anyway, a little off track there, um, but um, prioritizing um, what should be first, second, third, you know, and how do we do that? So, um, so if we look at the demands on, on our time from the view of the many different hats we wear, we should put those in categories, right? Um, and put them into different roles rather than separate responsibilities. So some of the hats that I know I wear and I'm sure you wear on an average week or month or daily. Um, so some of those roles might be your wife, right? Your mom, you might be a grandma, your, you may be the boss, you might be an employee, right? So you're the, you're that. And so there's, those are some major hats, right? You have your job, but you have all those other responsibilities. You're the wife, you're the mom, you're the grandma and all of that too. So, um, but there's also all those other hats 
that you wear. Um, like maybe you're a volunteer and you, you help the church or you go to the blood bank or all that. Or um, you kind of like a, like a, like you have friends, I'm sure, but you're like the counselor for friends, right? They look to you to, to talk through things and uh, talk about their problems and not that you don't want to listen, but that's just one of those hats, right? Or you're cleaning the house, like you're the maid at the house, you're the, the yard maintenance person, or you are you know, the one that does all the meal prep. And I could go on and on with all those lists of, of roles and responsibilities or the different hats. So I just want to say hi real quick. Jody's here. Hi. Olga, nice to see you. Lupe, hi. Yeah, from California. Nice. Hope the weather's great there. Uh, it's actually 60 degrees here in Wisconsin, and I don't know, it's kind of a fluke, but we know that won't last. Um, yes, and Jennifer, howdy, nice to see you too. And Jody, you say prioritize by importance and time each tax task takes. Very true. So you kind of have to put it in buckets and try not to get overwhelmed, which is not easy to do. I sometimes sense feel myself getting overwhelmed with all of that. So. The thing what you should do or what I recommend you do and something that I'm starting to do is make a list, a complete list, you know, as complete as you can, including all the hats you wear and um, title it like whether you chose that hat or whether it's out of duty. Like, yes, your job, you chose that job, but maybe some of those tasks you're not choosing. So how does that look? And you will start to notice how much time each week that you invest wearing those different hats, right? So like for me, um, I'm not, I mean, I'm a mom, but my kids are all grown up and they have their families. So I'm not, I don't have to do discipline and, and make sure they're cleaning their room and doing all those kinds of things. So that hat I don't wear very often unless I get the phone call and usually it's a bigger problem, you know, um, Somebody's, one of the grandkids is sick or whatever it might be, um, but I don't get, put, but then I put my grandma hat on, right? So it's not as much of a role that it used to be, um, but I'm a wife and that's a very significant role and I'm a wife every single day, right? And how much time does that take? All that kind of stuff. And so you may find that although one of them is extremely important to you, you don't put that hat on as nearly as much. And that's just like what I was just telling you about being that mom, right? Um, or it might be like you have this hat, um, but you don't really enjoy doing it. And so you kind of put things off, right? Um, so you want to then, um, look at, you know, after you have those buckets filled, which of those roles are where roles that you want to play? Like what are your priorities? So you want to pick your top three to five hats that you wish to wear no matter what. So maybe it's a wife, maybe it's the grandma. I want to pay, play that role all the time. Wish I could do it a lot, you know, but sometimes, you know, and then I'm a business owner, right? But I'm also a stepmom too. So sometimes that's a tough role for me. I don't enjoy that as much because I've raised my, my kids and it's not that I don't love them, but it's, it's just a different role and different hat that I play that isn't, um, not that it's not important. That's not what I'm trying to say. It's, it's, it's just different because I'm not the mom and the dad, I'm the stepmom, and so I'd have to take that step back. Um, so if you, if you feel like your time invested is not aligned with those top five roles that you desire to play, then it's time for you to reset, if that makes sense. So if there's things on your list that you don't, you know, maybe it's the, maybe you don't wanna be the maid, right? Or you don't wanna do the yard maintenance. Um, so when you, when you start to look at that, there's probably a few of those hats that you wear that you can delegate and have somebody else do for you, right? Prioritizing that importance in your life. Because you guys, you know what? We're all at a certain age too that we don't have to do everything anymore, right? We don't really have to do all of that. Just because we're a woman, we can do it, right? But look at how stressed it is. Look at how stressed we get when we, we do that to ourselves. So delegating some of those responsibilities, like the yard maintenance, I don't mow the lawn anymore. I don't enjoy it. I've mowed the lawn many, many years. And so that task, that hat, that belongs to the stepsons or my husband. So 
those are roles that you can pass on to other people. So it'll make it easier. It's going to lighten the load and it'll, it'll make your life um, easier to live, if you will, so that you don't struggle with all those hats that, that, that you're putting on. You want to put the hats on that make you smile and then inspire you more often and give you lots and lots of energy for the rest of your work life, right? So your balance can really be restore, restored by negotiating with others to help pitch in. And I was just talking, <laughs> Pam, you're here too, talking to Pam today, she's on, uh, about the pressure we put on ourselves because we like things just so. We like the bathrooms clean so. And they like, like for me, it's my kitchen has to be just perfect. And it's the pressure we put on ourselves. There's nothing wrong with delegating that. And we do it to ourselves, but then that's our choice, right? And so we have to live with that choice then. But there are other people that can take some of that off of your plate so you're not switching hats so often. So um, so what will make well-being and balance work for you? A couple things. Um, practice acceptance. So you want to find that inner peace to accept what cannot be changed and change the things you can, right? And so you do have those choices. We all have choices to make um, in our life. And if we choose to be OCD about your kitchen, like I am, that's a choice I make. I can't be upset with somebody else, right? That's, that's, that's me. Um, so I can accept to just leave it as is and take care of it or have somebody help me with that thing um, or whatever that task might be. So um, find balance is another thing. So um, optimal health, like taking care of yourself, and you guys know this, it's exercise, it's eating well, it's getting enough rest, it's drinking enough water, it's getting that mind straight, it's going to promote wellness in your life and you're going to be able to to juggle a few more things if you will delegate a few more things but really make sure that you're really listing out all those hats that you wear pick the three to five hats that you want to wear no matter what and then see what you can do to manage the rest of those of those hats that you wear the lawn mowing the the helping clean the house the whatever it is those tasks the getting groceries so that's a, a good a good point too. Like so, for me, I don't like going grocery shopping. I absolutely do not like going. It just seems redundant. I got to go pick my food up. I got to put it in a cart, and then I got to take it out of the cart and put it on the conveyor belt, and then they got to put it in a bag, and then I have to put it in the car, and then you know I can go on and on. So I've gotten in the habit of having my groceries delivered. I love it. That's one thing I delegate to somebody else, and I've never I think I've had one issue. Um, so that's something that I've chosen to take off of my plate. So that's just an example of some things that you are an option for you. Um, face change, change is inevitable, right? Accept change is a challenge, not a threat. And that I struggle with because I like my comfort zone. I don't like to be out of my comfort zone because you know what? Uh, it's anxiety provoking for me, but I do it. And every time I do step out of that comfort zone, I grow a little bit. I learn a little bit more. Um, so these are some, um, if you're, if you're just coming on, these are some things, uh, some tips to help make you a more of a well-rounded person, right? So, um, and balance that work, balance that work life that you have, try and manage those hats. And the first thing that I mentioned is practice acceptance because you have to find that inner peace to accept the things, um, that you, um, can't change, but change the things that you can and you have control over that. Find balance, right? And that's the exercising and that's the eating well and that's the getting enough rest and, and putting yourself first. Um, yes, yes, Pam, the groceries, right? Just go and have somebody buy for you. You order it and everything and oh, it's amazing. Anyway, um, face change because we know change is inevitable. We live in this society where change is constant, right? And we have to, we all like our, we all like our, um, schedules right we we do this at this time we do that at that time we do this etc etc but sometimes things have to change and it's hard to accept that once in a while focus on the present and this is something really near and dear to my heart is um focus on the moment 
because you can't change the past. You and then when you look so far in the future, it's really hard to predict that future, right? You can only control and be present in the mo moment and not live in the past. Things are over. Yesterday's gone. You can't change that. The future, you can make changes to enhance your future, but you can't predict what's going to happen. So live in the present. So that's a really good way to stay, have that work-life balance, right? The second, or not the second thing, but this would be the fifth thing, is letting go. So practice forgiving. Forgive yourself especially. Don't, um, don't punish yourself so much. Uh, we do enough of that, and society does enough of that. So let go, forgive each other, all of that, because nobody wants to live in a negative world. Um, see the positive in the world and change and control the things that you have control over. Um, confront stress. So uh, facing and managing stress rather than hiding, hiding it with unhealthy coping mechanisms. So... Just face it, right? Just just do the thing. If you're stressed, talk to somebody about it and deal with it. Um, don't hide it with unhealthy coping mechanisms. A lot of times um, people, women, and women do this is they drink, right? They drink at night. They have a couple shots of this or a, a drink to help relax, help manage life stress instead of dealing with it or making a decision or making a choice. So. Stay away from those unhealthy coping mechanisms. Smoking is another one. It can be very relaxing for people. It's a bad habit to get into. Um, and so facing and managing that stress and not diving into those unhealthy habits. Eating, eating bad foods that you know make you feel bad and make you feel guilty and cause you to not feel well and, and you gain weight from that. That's another unhealthy coping mechanism. It's that food, right? Because it's comfort. It's comfort. We go to food for comfort. Listen to your mind. Examine your beliefs and how they influence your life. So um, think about what you, kind of like your, it's your belief system, your values, the ones that serve you well. So it's like having, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's like having your own um, list of, of oh my goodness I can't think of it but your beliefs and what you believe in yourself so maybe it's being honest being open and authentic putting others first those kinds of things so have your own list of those positive beliefs so listen to your mind right you guys know what's right and wrong um, integrate love work and play so learn how to live fully in each area so you love with your heart right um, work, we, you know, work at something you enjoy. Not everybody loves their job, right? Um, but you can find and make those choices to do something different in your life and to enjoy the, enjoy those processes or help change the environment that you're working in. Um, give your boss ideas and options and not complain about stuff so much or things that are not going well, but offer solutions. Just like at home, if we're complaining about something, well, what's a solution to fix it and to make it better? And, and just live your life fully because as you guys know too, um, you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring and you may not wake up. Um, and so live your life um, or integrate love and work and play into your life. Accept yourself, so honor and love your inner self and the roles that you play in life because I find it, a blessing to be able to be a mom and I find it a blessing to be able to be a grandmother and to be a wife and because there are some women that don't have that opportunity and so be grateful for those things and yes we all have we all kind of bite off more than we can chew at times but be grateful that we can but also be grateful that you have the choice to change those things and to not have those plates of spinning and those hats moving and, and just controlling that part of your life because you do have those choices. So love those roles that you play, but also love the fact that you can manage them too. And if you are really in a point, and, and I think a lot of people are in the world today and in society with everything that's that's gone on and, and you know we could 
and it's, you know, no matter what you believe about the government or which side of the fence you're on, or if you believe in the vaccine or you don't, if you really are struggling, seek professional help um, to learn how to manage those difficult areas. There's nothing wrong and nothing bad about seeking help. Um, I've done it in the past, um, just through really stressful situations that I just needed something. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. In fact, I find that very, um, that, that's a good thing. That's not a bad thing and you should never shame yourself over that. It's not something that maybe you have to do for the rest of your life. It might just be something to help you make some decisions and help you delegate some of those, those hats that you're wearing and the spinning of the plates and the craziness of the world. And I know this, this comes up a lot, especially with holidays, because we put all that pressure on ourselves and we have to do this and we have to do that and we have to do this. And you know what? You have family over there, your family. If, if the bathroom's not clean or if the sweet potatoes aren't quite done, it's not that big of a deal, right? Who really cares? Um, everybody's together and you should just enjoy that time that you have with them. So um, I don't wanna, I wanna st stress this, that if you do need some help, there is nothing wrong with going to seek out professional, um, somebody to help you uh, at all. So don't ever beat yourself up over that. So hopefully this was enlightening at this time of the year where um, we're all stressed and um, got a lot going on and all the hats that we wear or the spinning plates, however you want to label it, could be the roles that you play, that you have um, some control over that and you can list those three to five hats that you want to wear that you enjoy wearing and see what you can do about those other ones that you can delegate to somebody else and be okay with that or totally just get rid of that hat or that role that you don't really need to play anymore. And that can be very fluid. So your your plate spinning and your hats might change as things change in your life. Maybe you're not a grandma yet, but that's coming. You're not a mother-in-law yet, but that's coming. Or whatever it might be, um, that those roles will change um, as you progress. And then you might not be retired yet, but that's gonna that's gonna happen. So what do you do? What do you do in that circumstance? So all kinds of different different hats and roles you can develop when you're retired, right? And sometimes it's too many because you've got this time, right? And then you're like, I'll do that, I can help with that, I can do that. Before long, you feel like you're working again, right? So you guys have control over that. And hopefully this was um, helpful and was able to reassure you that you do have that ultimate control and don't stress yourself out over all those hats because you can do something about that. And I have to listen to myself because this, when I was researching a little bit of this, I found myself um, wearing a lot of different things and, and also trying to delegate some of those things away that I don't feel like I need to do anymore or don't enjoy doing, um, that kind of thing. So, well, that's it for Wednesday, our Facebook Live. I will be back next Wednesday. I'm not sure what we'll be talking about. But I'm sure it'll be fun, as these all are. I really love having your comments. Um, keep them coming. This replay will be in the guide section of the Facebook, Mind Body Beautiful uh, Facebook page. And um, you can go and um, make some comments there or ask any questions. So I want you all to have an amazing rest of your evening and have a great weekend. You're welcome. You're great. You're welcome, Karen and Judine. You're welcome. All right, guys, take care and have a great night. We'll see you next week. Bye.